In triangle ABC, CD is the angular bisector. We have to find out the length of the angular bisector and prove that it is equal to 2 into A into B divided by A plus B multiplied with cos alpha by 2. So we have been given, if given a triangle in which A and B are two sides and the angle between them is alpha, L is the angular bisector, then we have to prove that L equals to 2AB cos alpha by 2 divided by A plus B. Now, what is the, in, we can prove this in so many ways. In this particular video, we will try to leverage the concepts based on the information given to us. Now, what, what, what concepts we can use to prove this? The first thing is, we know CD is the angular bisector. That means we can leverage angular bisector theorem. Then, we know two sides of a triangle and we know the angle between those two sides. If you take the triangle ACD, triangle DCB or triangle ACB, all these three triangles, we know two sides and the angle between them. That means from trigonometry we can use law of cosines. Now this should be sufficient to prove this. Now when we want to solve this by using these two concepts, we have three ways of doing it. Where we want to apply angle bisector theorem and law of cosines. In first scenario, we can take triangle ACD and triangle ACB. In the second scenario, we can take triangle DCB and triangle ACB. And in the third way, how we can solve this is, we can take the two small triangles, we can take triangle ACD and triangle DCB. We can prove this by using any one of these combination either we go with the first way or second way or the third way but the for one and two we have to also use half angle formula from trigonometry which says that cos alpha equals to 2 cos square alpha by 2 minus 1 and when we solve by first or second method will be getting a quadratic equation. So that will be a little bit lengthy. So we will not do that. We will take the third way where we will consider the triangle CACD and triangle DCB so that it will be a linear equation in one variable and we can easily find out the value of alpha. So let us go ahead and consider triangle ACD and triangle DCB we will apply angle bisector theorem and also we will leverage law of cosines and then we will try to close this as quickly as possible. So the triangles we are going to consider are triangle A, C, D and the triangle D, C, P. These are the two triangles what we are going to consider. Now first let us take these triangles and from these triangles what we can write by using law of cosines. We can say that AD square equals to B square plus L square minus 2BL cos alpha by 2. Similarly we can also say this is coming from this triangle. From the other triangle we can write down db square equals to a square plus l square minus 2al cos alpha by 2. Now, how ad and db are related to each other? For that, we will be leveraging angle bisector theorem which says that ad divided by db, that means the ratio in which the angular bisector divides the opposite side is equal to the ratio of the sides 
by which this angle is made that is nothing but b by a or can we say ad square divided by db square equals to b square by a square now why can't we divide this and substitute this value whatever we got we will have ad square by db square that is b square by a square equals to b square plus l square minus 2bl cos alpha by 2 divided by a square plus l square minus 2al cos alpha by 2. Let us do cross multiplication. We will have a square b square plus b square l square minus 2a b square l cos alpha by 2 equals to a square b square plus a square l square minus 2a square b l cos alpha by 2. Now let us see can we cancel something here a square b square and a square b square we can cancel then we can simplify that on the left hand side let us keep all l square term. so we will have b square minus l square into b square minus a square into l square equals to 2a b square l cos alpha by 2 minus 2a square b l cos alpha by 2. Let us take common and simplify this. We will have b minus a into b plus a into l square equals to 2ab cos alpha by 2 into b minus a. Now we can cancel b minus a on both the sides and we can cancel 1l. Left out is l equals to 2ab divided by a plus b multiply with cos alpha by 2. Now that is what we need to prove. Let's have a recap of this problem. We have been given a triangle ABC. In triangle ABC, AC is small case B, lower case B and BC is lower case A. The angle between small A small B is alpha and CD is the angular bisector then length L let us say. Then we have to prove that L equals to 2 into a into b divided by a plus b into cos alpha by 2. Now the concepts we have used to solve this problem or to prove this is since we have been given an angular bisector we can use angle bisector theorem and also we have triangles with two sides and the angle between them so we can use trigonometry law of cosines and if you want to consider a small triangle and a big triangle then you also have to remember the half angle formula which says cos alpha equals to 2 cos square alpha by 2 minus 1. Now the easiest way to solve this when you are taking the triangles and this concept is to go for the two small triangles and by angle bisector theorem we know that AD by DB equals to AC by CB that is B by A square it on both sides we have AD square by DB square is B square by A square and by law of cosines we have ad square equals to b square plus l square minus 2bl cos alpha by 2 similarly db square is l square plus l square minus 2al cos alpha by 2 now do cross multiplication and simplify we will get l equals to 2ab divided by a plus b cos alpha by 2 so the angular bisector l is given by 2ab divided by a plus b cos alpha by 2.